Today, what I'd like to teach you is how to find the molecular mass of aluminum fluoride. And I'm going to create a little table here to help organize the information. Bam. So the first column says to fill out the element uh, in the compound. So we have aluminum here. So I'm going to write aluminum and we have fl fluorine. So we write in fluorine. Next thing is to identify the number of atoms and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of aluminum there is an invisible one and that means we have one aluminum atom in aluminum fluoride. Then the subscript of fluorine is a three so that means that we have three fluorine in aluminum fluoride. We're going to take those numbers of atoms and then we're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Now these masses are found on the periodic table so let's take a look. Here's aluminum, Here's fluorine, and the number down here will represent either gram per mole or AMU, depending upon if you're calculating molar mass or molecular mass. So let's write in these masses, all right? 26.98 for aluminum, 26.98, and then we're going to plug in the 19 value for the fluorine. Then all we have to do is just simply multiply this row together to get the total mass of the element in the compound. So the total mass of aluminum is going to be 26.98. And the total mass of fluorine here will be 57, 19 times 3. And then all we have to simply do is add this column together to find now the total mass of the entire compound. So when we add those two values together, we get a value of about 83.98. And the unit we're going to be using here is going to be in AMU because we are finding the molecular mass, atomic mass units. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing and liking, maybe even telling your friends. All right, I'll see you soon. Take care.